What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Uh, this is going to be a special one for you guys. I'm going to go through a mini tour that I did with a band called Jenny and the Bottle. Really fun tour. So it was a four city tour and I'm going to go through some footage from all four cities. So let's see how that goes. What you just saw before uh, this intro was the 12th number with the band called Manga. And on the 13th number, which is coming up after this section, uh, I'll be going through uh, some of the plugins that I use for live performances. So. Let's go through that and then we're going to jump to the mini tour, go through some uh, performance footage, some nonsense footage, goofing around footage, all of that is included in this. Hope you guys have fun and um, maybe even learn something from what we go through as a live uh, sound engineer and as just musicians and uh, creators in general. So I'll see you guys soon. Today at Stepping Out Festival by Swiggy. So let's see what's there in my show file. So my FX, I'm using the usual Revive. This stuff. For the kick, we'll be going with the Smack and maybe a C4. We have to start sound check, so let's see how that goes. The snare, we have the BEQ for some bottom end 180-ish and even an R compressor I have my shout here, shout box which is listening to the artist on stage stage is over there you know what happened while coming back from Delhi no? We can check in, yes. I'm good. Ooh, okay. What do I mean when I say I'm good? So basically, I ask for a console or two that are usually commonly available with sound vendors in different cities. In most cases, I ask for uh, a digital design or Avid SC48. Quite an old console, actually, in this day and age, but it's not very expensive to rent by the event companies and all of that. Also, it is available in most cities. Also, an added advantage is I can use my Waves plugins, which uh, is awesome. Not that you can't use plugins in other consoles, but it's just a lot more simpler in uh, this console to kind of get going with it. The reason I ask for these consoles is I have a preset or show file on a pen drive or a USB drive, load it onto the console and basically save a lot of time because there are a lot of moves that you do in a live show which are very repetitive and you keep doing that show after show after show. So why not just, you just have to download an offline editor for each console, create these settings. What does the show file contain? The show file contains all your settings basically, EQ, compression, uh, sends to their in-ear monitors, uh, everything that you need, uh, stuff like uh, the plugins that you use, your, your settings on your plugins, all of that. This information is known among sound engineers, but this information will be useful if you're maybe getting into the whole live sound scene and uh, all of that. Just remember, if you have a show file, it'll just make your life a little bit more easier and save time. What you achieve by saving time is giving the musicians peace of mind. That is a, one of the most important things that I have learned makes for a better show. The calmer the musicians are or the artists are on stage before a show, the better in general everything goes. Your job as a live sound engineer is not just uh, making sure that they sound good, also to make sure that they do not have to worry about anything other than their job which is to play, make stuff work, make stuff happen, make them sound good and that's what you're hired for. You guys checked? No, 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 Okay, okay. so whatever yeah. effect that you yeah. give, no, yeah. I can yeah. hear the effect. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, this is uh, uh, 70. Uh, okay. 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 
Thank you. Could I just tell you that you guys are absolutely amazing. You guys give us the energy to be amazing. So thank you. Thank you.